come in. Welcome to Mystery Theater. Feels like we're stuck in a circle of work and chores and there's no escape. What was that call? It sounded intense. Why Accounting team, report to meeting room B immediately. <laughs> hey, this might be that something different you were looking for. Right. An exciting accounting emergency. You all know we recently completed our acquisition of Phoenix Canton Industries. They've got an installation on Canton Island? A scientific research station, they say. It's sucking up $84 million a year with only six employees. I need a volunteer to head out there to investigate this properly, in person, right away. I don't know how long it'll take. I'll, I'll keep in touch. Don't. Just don't. This is your captain speaking. We're about to make our landing approach, so please fasten your seatbelts now. Are you okay, miss? I th- think Apologies so. Apologies for that unexpected turbulence. Getting some odd electromagnetic reading. The island, uh, as we get closer, it kind of looks like the atmosphere is glowing. Like the northern lights. But we're in the tropics. We've lost an engine, and and all our magnetic instrumentation is on the fritz. Please keep calm. You're an accountant, not a killer. I'm not sure what I am anymore. Our mystery drama, The Circle of Life, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Paul Miram, and stars Virginia Hargrove. A special fan-made production of Radio Mystery Theater, coming soon to quietplease.org slash originals.